Hi guys, this is Ranjit and if you guys recall, uh, I had posted the full review of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus a month ago and I said that I will also be posting a full camera review but I couldn't do that because of the lockdown but now the lockdown sort of lifted so uh, I also shot some footage outdoors so let's uh, uh, do this and I certainly feel that uh, this is sort of a camera centric smartphone so I've shot a lot of samples videos and also it has that thing called space zoom where we have that 10x 20x 30x zoom so let's see the footage so this is the camera app as you can see and nothing much different and i don't have any other subject hand sanitizer very important these days this is the regular mode as you can see and this is the ultra wide that you can go and we also have zoom on this one and that's this is the 3x zoom uh, this is optical zoom and if you notice down we also have other types of zoom also like 2x 4x as you can see and even 10x you can go 20x and even 30x i'll show you some samples later on and i would say up to 10x also you can get some pretty good results if you're uh, far away so we have this uh, this is what they call space zoom so this is a new thing and uh, this is night edition and we also have this new option called single take what it does is actually let me show you a sample when you hit uh, this and it works with, uh, great with human subjects uh, for example this i took in single take and as you can see instead of just single shot it takes multiple uh, shots let me just go back and if you click here as you can see it does a lot of things uh, so with just a single shot let's say you're doing something very important let's say your orchid's birthday or whatever you don't know what you want maybe in a monochrome so you can just hit this and start and you have to actually click this to stop and it's going to apply different effects and when again as i've told you it works great with human subjects here i just did it for demo and if you click this it also creates a video of uh, the same and again in video i'll show you samples uh, the thing is that video uh, you can change the aspect ratio uh, and we also have the super steady option but the super steady option is even in this ultra wide so that's actually nice and in fact in video you can go up to actually 8k i was in 8k let's quickly have a look at the 8k option and if you go over here as you can see this is the 8k option right now we are shooting in and i would say uh, you won't shoot regularly in 8k but let's see i'm just going to shoot this stuff like this i tap to focus further objects and i'm just going to shoot some stuff in 8k and i'm going to just press stop and this is a 8k footage video but uh, what I can do is start from here as you can see distant object as the resolution is so high what I can do is I can just scrub to a portion and in fact here if I hit this it's going to take a picture out of that because the resolution is so high so if you have a very important stuff or something you can actually shoot in 8k and take out static pictures like this so this can be useful for example if I get out of this let me just go to the gallery these will be saved as a regular shot and and see even if when you're zooming in we have quite a bit of detail because the footage was in 8k and apart from that again we also have a dedicated pro mode so if you want to do manual stuff uh, you can do that uh, you can change the iso etc uh, but i have noticed that this pro mode uh, is not only for regular photography but even if for if i go over here and more it's even there for video so even while you're shooting video you can adjust things like iso white balance and stuff so this gives you a lot of control if you know what you're doing i also noticed one more thing that even for the front facing camera we do have the single take and another thing is that we have live focus and all those things uh, but they are over here so you can just drag it for example let's say you want the pro mode you can just drag it and keep it like that and hit the save button so that way you can have these quick options for example i like the live focus so i did it over there uh, but single take is there and in fact uh, i would say single take uh, is uh, pretty interesting and works even with the front facing camera so these are some of the casual shots that i took and we had actually a storm this was a regular shot and this was that wide angle uh, lens and uh, this is the zoom 3x zoom that i used and the zoom is good for example this is a regular shot and here we use the 3x zoom and here i use that 10x zoom and here is that 20x zoom so you can really zoom as you can see this was the regular shot again one more example regular shot uh, here i use the 3x uh, zoom and here i use the 4x zoom and uh, you have a lot more options for i went to that 10 
10 x zoom and uh, this is that uh, 20 x zoom and 30 as you can uh, see and uh, some of the casual shots that I took uh, and you get that natural background blur very easily you don't even have to be in the portrait mode you can get these shots very easily as you can see this zoomed and then also I got it and these are some of the regular shots uh, where I zoomed in and I used the portrait mode as you can see and this was with the regular mode in the portrait mode now moving to artificial lighting in my office here are some of the samples that I took and here also as you can see even in artificial lighting conditions it does a good job uh, this again is in my office if you guys know regular shot and here I use the 3x uh, zoom and we also have that uh, uh, background blur with that zoom so here I use that and finally this is a regular one uh, using the background blur here if you notice I shut off the light and here I zoomed in and here there is a little bit of noise but again the lighting is very low I also wanted to see how it does in very low lighting conditions so here are some of the shots that I took after sun was just set and as you can see it actually does a pretty good job uh, this was in the completely normal mode and here I enable the night mode as you can see the night mode lights up stuff and these are some more samples that I had taken in the night and as you can see it actually does a good job this was a complicated shot then also it came out good I feel the front facing camera has improved tremendously after the latest update as you can see it has a lot of sharpness and even in this portrait bokeh mode the edge detection has improved quite a bit as you can see the shots look very good even in artificial and completely artificial lighting as you can see in my office you get some very good shot and even the bokeh mode produces very good results guys here is a sample i'm shooting in 4k but i've enabled that super steady option and as you can see i'm walking also and then also it's good and this is actually in uh, 4k so you have that super steady and if you think you're going to be shooting the video while just moving around i think so you should enable that because as you can see it does make quite a bit of a difference now guys shooting the video in regular mode this is in 4k but this is not super steady option and in this option if you notice this is the regular uh, mode but you can also go to the wide angle mode without shutting off the uh, video and in fact you can also use the optical zoom for example this is a 1x and this is the 3x zoom and you have that tap to focus etc so this is also a really nice option while shooting video you have the flex flexibility of moving between the lenses and uh, the video does not cut so guys what do you feel about the camera on the samsung galaxy s20 plus and by the way guys i completely forgot this footage is being shot by the uh, front facing camera of the galaxy s20 plus and the audio is also being recorded via that and i also feel for stuff like this that is vlogging the front facing camera is also actually very good uh, and certainly i would say this is a camera centric smartphone uh, some of the features what it has that single take is also very interesting let's say it's a very important uh, 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 event and you don't want to miss and you don't know what you want to do want to take a photograph or a video or multiple exposures or whatever you just use that and you can get that so that was a nice uh, thing that surprising that it works even with the front facing camera I also like the space zoom you can zoom in quite a bit 10x 20x and even about 30x with that so can be useful uh, and many times as you saw some of the shots uh, that I shot earlier when we had a storm uh, and I, in fact I also like the fact that in video they do give us lot of flexibility uh, for example uh, in video when I was shooting in 4k I could easily move between the wide angle lens regular and even zoom in so that does offer us quite a bit of flexibility so certainly I feel this is sort of a camera centric smartphone but what do you guys think about the camera performance of the Galaxy S20 plus do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys